Meat Boy is kind of back because we are making a dairy filled recipe today with plenty of high quality raw grass fed cheese, classic Swiss fondue, another fun way to get high quality animal protein in an approachable form as well as plenty of B vitamins, minerals, fat soluble vitamins. And there are quite a few different types of fondue variations. The one we're doing today is, you know, the classic Swiss. If you look up like fondue Valle d'Aosta, they use fontina cheese with milk and eggs. There's quite a few interesting recipes. If you want to get like all this sort of fondue equipment and make it a thing, if you have a family, that would be nice. But today we're going to keep it as simple as possible with what the average person would have in their kitchen. And most of my recipes, guys, have always been very, very simple. Minimal ingredients not too much prep time uh, with the exception of those chinese dumplings so if you do have any simple recipe ideas that are animal based please let me know down below we've done several hundred now on this channel of course we have the swiss cheeses from frankie strange meat raw milk gruyere and emmentaler both of these are classically used so you definitely want to get your hands on both of them we have a cup of white wine we're going to do a teaspoon of lemon juice a little bit of black pepper and nutmeg are the seasonings and some recipes they take a garlic clove and they rub it on the inside of the pot i have some garlic oil so we're just going to use a tiny tiny bit of that i don't think it's 100 percent necessary and what we don't have is kirsch which is a cherry brandy that's another optional ingredient you know don't go out and spend 10 20 30 dollars on it maybe use some cherry juice extract but since we don't have it today we're not going to use it and some bread for dipping i mean Roast beef dipped in this sounds really delicious too. You could dip about just anything you want in uh, cheese fondue. So we're gonna try using the food processor to shred this cheese because you know two pounds is quite a bit. We don't wanna be doing this for 10 minutes. First, we're gonna take the rinds off. And you know, some farms, especially Amish farms, sell decent cheese from a nutritional perspective, but they really do not know how to make cheese. You know, the types of rennet they use, the cultures, it's pretty much a mishmash. So if you want something that actually tastes good, you know, we have Le Gruyere from Switzerland and we have an Emmentaler. These are incredibly classic, consistent, high quality, delicious. Uh, cheese really is one of the things I miss most in my diet. So hopefully soon enough, we get the farm and I can do a special feed regimen so I can eat as much cheese as I'd like. So on our food processor, we have the shredding blade attachment. So the Emmental are shredded up pretty easily. It doesn't have to be completely consistent because we are melting this. I'm just gonna pour this in the pot. And that's the Greer all shredded, equal parts, one pound of each. So the cheese goes on a medium heat with one cup of white wine. Just go to your local liquor store, a bottle of organic white wine, shouldn't be more than 10 or 12 bucks. One teaspoon of organic fresh squeezed lemon juice. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the garlic oil. Again, if you don't have that, just take a raw garlic clove, rub the inside of the pot. Uh, this is very simple to make guys, just peel a few cloves of garlic, saute it in coconut oil for a few minutes till it caramelizes, and then let that sit overnight with a little bit of salt in it. So we're just gonna stir this on a moderate heat for about five minutes. And while the cheese is melting, you wanna have your toppings ready because this is to be served immediately. So we're just gonna chop up some ciabatta bread. You really want whatever the best tasting, freshest bread uh, at your local bakery is, or if you wanna make some yourself. That's really it, just chunks of bread, and then you can take toothpicks, put them on toothpicks, and put them on a platter. So this is supposed to be a fondue pot or ceramic pot, which I don't have. You know, stainless steel is fine. If I had one that was a little smaller, I would use it. But hey, try this recipe out first. See if you like it before, you know, spending 30, 40, 50, 100 dollars on a nice set of something. I'm sure they have like whole fondue things with like tongs and forks and different serving utensils specifically for fondue. And it seems really simple, but when you combine two incredibly artisanal well-made cheeses with all those complex flavor profiles and then another artisanal aged product, white wine that's very aromatic, alcohol brings out the flavors, little acidity from the lemon juice, some seasoning in there. It's very special. Uh, recipes also add cornstarch. I'm assuming it's a textural thing, but you know you really don't want to add something as low quality as cornstarch to something like this. So after about five minutes, the cheese is melted, 
And you want to be constantly stirring this so it doesn't scald or burn or like the fat separates from the cheese. The whole time, constantly be stirring this. And now that the cheese is completely melted, we're going to add a few cracks of fresh organic black pepper. And we're going to microplane some fresh nutmeg in as well. So that's everything actually. All we have to do now is stir it for about 10 more minutes to get the consistency we want. So the longest 10 minutes of my life has passed. We have evaporated the wine, concentrated those flavors. We have a nice velvety fondue that's ready to serve. I do have a ceramic bowl. And this is a lot guys, so if you're just making it for yourself, it's still gonna be the same amount of labor, but maybe just use a quarter pound of each cheese. And have I you... am lactose intolerant, so this will be fun. Have oh, you ever had fondue? Not that I know of. You take a fork in you. So you guys haven't seen my lovely sister Gina in a while because we Hi. haven't done a recipe, but I'm sure you guys miss her. Hi, and I'm with my handsome brother, as you can see. Well, yeah. thank you, Gina, but don't you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. <laughs> and um, right now I'm looking for Frank for him for a girlfriend, so if any of you lovely ladies out there would love to date him, he's a wonderful guy, he has an amazing personality, and he can cook. Thanks again, Gina, for your input over these past few years. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! Gina, turn towards the camera so they can see you eat it, okay? <laughs> you, use your left hand. I am not left hand, but I'm like, eh! Oh, no, I lost the bread. Ah! So I'm trying to get. I put too much cheese in it. It's hot, Gina, so make sure to blow on it. Trying to. Gina. This is a mess. I'm just... Get. So it is cheese, guys. Mm. When you take it out of the melting pot, which is actually the name of a restaurant that serves fondue, mm. it's going to get very stringy and solid. Mm. Mm -hmm. you... Just take a piece of bread, take it out, nice and hot. Mm. Take this piece, Gina. And again, guys, get a really high quality bread because Whole Foods makes a pretty decent ciabatta. It's fresh, very, very flavorful. It's good stuff. We've spoken about the nutritional content of cheese before. Very concentrated in minerals, especially calcium, magnesium, sodium. Really, every mineral for the most part is in cheese besides iron. It has a lot of B vitamins, a lot of protein, very calorically dense. Perfect for a growing child or an adult that is lacking animal-based nutrients. So my sister is probably gonna gain a few pounds tonight, but I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. So thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank-stefan.com to check out Frankie's Syringe Meat, where you can get a variety of high-quality cheeses to make all different types of fondue. And please check out his YouTube channel if you wanna see more of this handsome man. Yes, Gina, they're on my YouTube, so please guys drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my next video. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And we'll see you for tomorrow. tomorrow.